Welcome to Unity of Wilmington's Meditation Moments. My name is Reverend Nikki Golden. I'm here and very honored to be with Katie Dees on the piano and Justin Lacey on the guitar. We're inviting you into a time of relaxation, sort of a pause in the middle of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. A, t a chance, a time to take a breath, to tune inward and to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that all is well. So I'm going to invite you to eyes open or eyes closed, whatever works for you. I'm going to keep my eyes open. It's one of the ways I feel connected to you. So as we tune in, let's take a breath. And just notice where your breath falls. And then when you, with your next breath, take a breath that's just a little bit deeper and a little bit fuller. Allowing yourself to breathe in your own rhythm, your own depth, whatever feels comfortable, whatever's pleasurable for you around your breath. The word to inspire is like to take in spirit. Whatever name you would use for spirit, Substitute that. So to inspire, to take in spirit, to take in the allness of the universe, to take in that which is holy. And the truth, as I see it, is that everything is holy now. Everything is holy. For there is no place where spirit is not. So breathing in, to bring our awareness to spirit, our awareness to our own divinity. And as you breathe, let yourself tune into your heart space to feel, to feel your heart opening and expanding, to generate love if you're not already feeling it to tune in to someone that you love beyond a shadow of a doubt and love yourself that much. Sometimes we forget how to love ourselves. We have a belief about love, but we forget the experience of love. So in this moment, in this meditation, Let's remember the experience of love and then allow that remembering to move us into the present moment with the experience of love. I believe that we are all divine, that that is our true nature. And because divinity is our true nature, along with our humanity, our personableness. Then we too are love because the divine is love. So as you open to love, whether it's generating it from a memory or just opening it as you focus on your heart and breathe into that space, as you are being love, you are living the truth of yourself. Really being, moving through the world as the divine that we are. Moving through the world as the light that we are. Being able to stand at the ocean or stand in the mountains Stand in a place that assists you in feeling connected to all that is. And open our hearts, open your heart. That's incredible. Now let's bring that incredibleness of open-heartedness to the times that are more difficult in our lives, 
So I'm going to invite you to bring up something that's difficult in your life right now. I have something in my mind. Just hold it in your mind, but hold it gently. So often when things are difficult, we hang on tightly. But in this moment, hold it gently and let that incredibleness, that moment of being in a place that you absolutely love, where you feel connected and grounded to all that is, let that moment come forward to this moment to that thought that you're holding very gently in your mind and let it simply surround it. So we're not trying to get rid of anything. We're not trying to push it away because we know that what we try to push away pushes back energetically. It does things to catch our attention. But instead of pushing it away, if we bring our love, our natural self to it, and just embrace it. We are embracing the wholeness of life because life includes those things that are challenging, that are difficult. Life includes the hurt and the pain. And when I say life, I'm talking about that essence of life, the very energy that moves through us, that animates us, that brings us life each day. So life has a variety of experiences that are ours. And each of us, in our uniqueness, has a different experience with that experience. It may throw us off our game, or it may give us the energy and the impetus to climb the mountain of the experience and put it behind us. Whatever it does for you, allow it to be perfect. And then you can ask yourself some questions after you've completed that experience. What did that mean to me? Do I appreciate how I handled it? Is there some way I might have handled that differently? But ask from a place of generosity in your own heart rather than a place of criticism. Bring your generosity of love, your generosity of life, your generosity of wisdom to all the experience. And then decide to mark it complete and then to let it fall away. So it's not part of the baggage that sometimes holds us down in life that it's not part of the baggage that keeps us from experiencing joy, that we let it go, that we leave it by the wayside, so that as we move forward step by step, experience by experience, each one is bringing us to a greater realization of our divinity, to a greater realization of our wholeness, and to a greater realization that we have within us all of the capacity to handle anything that comes forward for us and to do so from that place in our heart, connected to love, remembering that we are love in essence and relaxing into and resting into that essence. So you're welcome to stay here in these quiet moments or to come back into your day, your time, into this now moment. Whatever you choose to do is perfect. And whatever you choose to do, know that you are love in expression of the divine and let yourself feel it as much as you can and then step forth and live it. Thank you for joining us today for this meditation moment. May you know the blessing that you are on this planet. <laughs>